Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today it's laundry review number four. So by the end of this video, I will have reviewed around 20 different brands of eco-friendly laundry detergents. And at the very end, we'll not only cover my favorites from this video, but my favorite of all time, as well as my favorite in each category because I'm going to be reviewing powders. I've also reviewed liquids in the past and laundry sheets in the past, which if you wanna learn my full thoughts on laundry sheets, you can check out this video up here. So this video is fully PVA free. If you're looking for a PVA free laundry detergent, this is the video for you. The brands we have today are Eco Egg, Meliora, Bestowed Essentials, and Brooklinen. So those are the four brands today. But again, if you're looking for more laundry reviews, more different types of laundry products, you can check out my full series of laundry review videos up here. Fire up the time machine. We're gonna go back in time to d November. November of 2023, when my hair was blue, before I dyed it purple, and then before I dyed it back to blue. Going way back in time. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And let me know if there are more brands of laundry detergent that I should be reviewing down below. Okay. I got two more in the mail. This was laundry sheets. I was looking all over the place for laundry sheets that were not only able to be shipped in Australia. Um, so I found these. They're literally just laundry sheets TM. They're made in Sweden, plastic free, travel friendly, compostable packaging, plant-based, cruelty-free. And the ingredients, I was a little worried, not gonna lie, that there was gonna be PVA on here, but it doesn't appear to be. Now, what I should do, let's quick look up PVA other names. Oh gosh, there's a lot of names. Polyethanol, glycerol on here, glycerol. It doesn't appear that there's PVA in here, which is really cool. It really took a while for me to find on the internet PVA free laundry sheets. No fault to the brand, just a fault to the industry in general. But I'm really excited to try these because I love laundry sheets. Because living in an RV, I love something that takes up little space that doesn't weigh a lot, it is not messy. Like this is perfect for, as they say, travel and living in an RV. I'm also quite impressed with their packaging. Oh, this is cute. They have a, how many times your package was reused up here on the very top. And then yeah, everything was plastic free, except for the tape, they, there was plastic tape on here, but it was clearly a reused Amazon box, which is cool. I love when businesses reuse boxes. Hello, I'm editing the video back there, months later, as I said in the intro. I have no idea what happened to these and I'm quite confident they're at my mom's. Something came up and we had to move to my dad's house. And when we got there, I was like, I could have swore I had laundry sheets for this review. I must have just imagined that I found some. No, I did find them, apparently, as you just saw the footage. I wanted to keep them in the video, even though I didn't fully review them, just to show you that there is a brand out there that is very conscious about their environmental footprint and they don't contain PVA. If you're interested in laundry sheets, try these out. They did smell very similar. They felt very similar, but I can't recall if I actually used them. I know I tried all of these at least one time. And I'm sure that had, you know, they left a residue on my clothes, were my clothes stinky, I would have remembered that because that's pretty significant. So I'm quite confident that they work. I can't say for 100% if I would recommend them, but if you're in the market for PVA free laundry sheets, this is about the only brand that you can get inside the United States from my research. So give them a try if you want to, and maybe I will try them for part five of the laundry review since they're lost. All right, the other brand that I paid for, why is this box so big? What is this called? Brooklinen. I wanted to also try a liquid because I haven't tested a liquid in this series in a long time. And I want it to be a liquid that's concentrated so that it doesn't take up extra space. And again, it was hard to find one that shipped within the US that had like an eco-friendly model. And this was about as eco as I could find. Anyway, here's the packaging. Not great. Bubble wrap, which I'll reuse. We'll probably use that for a Christmas gift since it is. And then this entire catalog. Don't need that. That's a shame. And then like, look at the size of this box for the size of the product. That's the product right there. And then this is it, which I suppose this is 32 ounces. More plastic. This one, I kind of understand the bubble wrap because like if this got punctured, it would make an absolute mess. Let's see, powerful, clean, eco-friendly, tested and trusted. Mm. Those all scream greenwashing to me. There's no standard for all this verbiage that they're using, but let's see the ingredients. Water, that is a shame because it they really made it sound like this was concentrated. It's not, the number one ingredient is water. Plant-derived cleaning agent, sodium lauryl sulfate, coconut-derived cleansing agent, ever, vegan preservatives, natural essential oils and fragrance, made of natural ingredients, color and texture may vary. I don't think it's not eco-friendly, but I do think it's greenwashing. Just because of all the verbiage they're using, like there's no third-party certifications. I mean, it's eco-friendly in the ingredients, but it's not eco-friendly in that it's not a concentrate, so it's not gonna last you a long time. It comes in plastic, look at their packaging. So if you're looking for like a 
no tox, low tox detergent. This sounds like a good option, but if you're looking for a truly eco-friendly laundry detergent, I don't think this is it. I like this system because it is low mess. It's easier for people than picking up a heavy jug and pouring it, so it's a little more accessibility friendly. But what's wild is that you're supposed to use one ounce for high efficiency loads, meaning that this is only 32 servings right here. So like if you have a big family and you're doing a lot of laundry, this is not economical. This will only last you a couple weeks. Just goes to show you that no matter how experienced you are in the zero waste movement, Greenwashing can still get you. Let's, it all comes down to how good these actually do washing my- Welcome to the laundry room. Good news, I got some feedback back. I finally heard back from EcoEgg about the ingredients. I'm like, hey, that's not a full list of ingredients. You can't tell me that that pellet is an ingredient. It has to be made of stuff, right? Anyway, now I'm in communications with him about why it only came with one pack of the black pellets, but three packs of the white ones. If both are necessary, why would you not send both? We're gonna give this a go. For the record, this batch of laundry is very stinky. I believe it said to put your clothes in and then put the egg on top. I forgot I used this. This scared me so much. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I left rocks in my pocket. It smells quite nice. <laughs> So while everything smelled clean, it definitely didn't smell as fresh as I thought it would because like the egg itself was really, really potent. So yeah, good news it's clean, it smells clean, it doesn't smell dirty or musty or anything, but not quite as strong as I thought, which is fine. I'm not, so the one I just used, a little update for it. I think it cleans well, like the laundry smells clean, smells, it's a little bit strong. Dan really, really likes it. And I think I'm just pretty neutral about it. I think it smells good. I'm glad it cleans our clothes. My biggest critique though, is that it takes a lot. I'm not a big fan that it, is very few loads. I thought it was concentrated, so my bad for not doing more research, but also like, but anyway, I have another one today. My family came home yesterday and I don't like filming in front of people. Here we have the Meliora, no plastic. So this is what you would probably order as a first timer. This is like their actual tin. Mm, I can already smell it. Baking soda, washing soda, vegetable soap clove, lavender, lemon, that's it. This is 128 HE loads, 64 standard loads, 100% plastic free, fragrance free, dye free, preservative free, phthalate free, no optical brighteners, biodegradable, vegan, organic. Oh, Meliora is Latin for better. Oh, I always wondered where their name came from. This sounds like it's gonna make a mess. Let's open it over this box. Okay, so as you can see, it's filled mostly to the top. Oh metal scoop how cool how much more durable this is as well as how much more recyclable this is and i believe when you order their refill right here we'll open it in a second i don't think it contains a scoop so you just use this one scoop forever so this is it this is one serving right here for a regular load half of a scoop for an he load and then this entire thing is cardboard and then the lid in the bottom does have a piece of metal on it so you just cut that out um, because it can't be recycled together like this it's lovely. It smells nice without being overwhelming and overpowering. Anyway, this is their refill. So this is what you buy originally. It'll last you like two years if you're doing one load of laundry per week. And then this is the refill that you get. Yep, it's just a paper bag. This one is unscented. They also have a lavender scent, a lemon scent. And then I got the lemon lavender clove. This bag is fully recyclable or compostable. It should just be 100% paper. Oh, <gasps> it is. There's no plastic lining. Amazing, but man, I'm really, really impressed with this. Disappointed I haven't tried them sooner. I know so many people hype them up. I'm finally excited to be on the Meliora train. Look at this, 256 loads of laundry right here. This is why I love powder. Also, I know there's some hot debate on powder being good for your washing machines. And the problem is people use way too much powder and that's why it gunks up your machine. So it says use half of a tablespoon for an HE machine. I'm only gonna use half of a tablespoon. I'm not gonna use any more because I don't wanna clog the machine and cause any problems. This might be my favorite. We'll see how it goes though. I do have to test it out. And I believe this is HE machine, oh. yep. So we just need half of a tablespoon. That's probably about half. I think I'd rather use a little bit less than too much. I'll see you when it's, <coughs> when it's done. Don't breathe in the powder. Here's the stuff from Dr. Bronner's. Lots of plastic. I'm not sure if the green signifies bioplastic. I think I'm going to save these for our camping and backpacking because we do use these while we're out um, because they are biodegradable and easy to carry while we're backpacking. And then I think I'll try this one as a laundry soap. 
laundry, one third of a cup for larger loads. So like a quarter cup for a small load. That's a lot. This is only eight ounces. So this is only a cup. So this is only four servings of laundry detergent. I know they sent me their sample sizes, but that's a big serving size. I thought their stuff was more concentrated than that. Bummed of their packaging. Um, I think it's one of the worst packaging that we've gotten in this video as well as, again, the size of the box for how big those bottles were. Like, for example, the other box that the stuff came in today. It easily could have fit it in something closer to this size. The other brand that I got today is Bestowed Essentials, and, like, this is the, the bag of laundry powder, and then this is the box, the exact size. Um, let's see, one tablespoon per load. I believe that's the same as Meliora. It smells unscented. But yeah, it's literally just washing soda, baking soda, and sodium percarbonate. Mm, there's a plastic lining, but that's kind of a shame that there is a plastic liner, meaning if you do use this, you have to separate the two. It can't be recycled otherwise. And I don't see a measuring spoon in there, which is fine because I can just use the one from Meliora. So they win for their like packaging when it comes to shipping, but not great when it comes to their packaging for their product, because like while the Dr. Bronner's does come in plastic, at least it's recyclable plastic, this paper plastic combo not recyclable. Okay, I decided I'm gonna try the Dr. Bronner's right now because we have a full bag of laundry and I might as well just go ahead and use it all. I'm just going to roughly divide it into fourths and we'll see how it goes. Time for a sniff test. Right on top, Dan's stinky socks. It's still a little stinky, not gonna lie. All right, his stinky mountain biking shirt. That smells clean. Let's see, what should we do first? I think first we're gonna do eco egg because this one surprised me. While they're a little bit suspicious, as we already discussed, about like their eco claims and stuff, and I don't really like the, the pebbles, considering that's all the waste that you'll create in a year doing laundry, I think this is a great option. Being in an RV where this is lightweight, it's compact, it's not breakable. Like comparing to these, these are so heavy. And this is also just even great too for doing public laundry. We go to laundromats a lot. We do laundry right here, as you can probably hear. This is just so much easier to carry and chuck in the washing machine than like bring in a whole thing. Is it the most eco-friendly? No, because I'm not sure this egg is even recyclable. The little pebbles inside aren't recyclable or compostable, but I surprisingly like this a lot and we've been using this a ton this winter and spring. So would I recommend this? Yes, not the best ingredients either. So pros and cons to the eco egg, but also let's look at how cost effective it is. But yeah, you just really can't beat this, this size and the lightweight of it, especially if you live in a small space like me. Move on to probably my least favorite and this comes at no surprise and that is this one. What's the name? Brooklinen, hate this one. It cleans well, it's a good soap. But of course the problem is this plastic bottle, which is a number two, so it is recyclable. The pump is not recyclable, but also the serving size. This is only 32 loads and they claim eco-friendly, but why? I guess because of the ingredients. It is mostly plant-based with essential oils. There's so many things that they could be doing to make this more eco-friendly and they're just not. It feels greenwashy to me. Kind of upset that I fell for it. And it was also quite expensive if I remember correctly, so. Don't recommend this one. Moving on to our two powders, we've got Meliora and we've got Bestowed Essentials. There's really not much difference between these two. So I guess this is a good one if you want a powder that has some scent to it because it does have that lemon, clove, and lavender. Now, the biggest downside to not only powder, but also powder in paper because it's sustainable, kind of caked because we now live in somewhere that's humid. I like Meliora, a big plus to them is this scoop. <coughs> Another downside to powder, it really gets in your lungs. Pretty minor, but for me, this mixed material packaging, the paper and metal, makes sense, but it's difficult to recycle. But yeah, they even put it on here, which is great. I do like that they are encouraging proper recycling and not just saying, recycle me, even though it's a mixed material. They do specifically say that it needs to be empty and separate, or you can reuse it. They even encourage the reusing on here, which is great. And not everybody is going to think about that as well, or have the time and energy to do that. Like con for me, it's a small con, but it is a con. I do prefer this pouch and Meliora does the pouches as well. So just keep that in mind, depending on what sort of packaging you want from Meliora, but Bestowed Essentials, I like this paper bag. It's fully recyclable without having to do anything special. This is also one tablespoon per load. Both of them are. 
Um, and this is a great option if you want something that is unscented. Even though this is naturally scented, the Meliora one, this is truly unscented if that's what you prefer. So this is 35 ounces, this is 48 ounces. So surely this has more, um, more loads because they're both a tablespoon serving size. But also compare the price of both of them right here, depending on what you're looking for in a powder. If you're looking for scented, unscented, if you're looking for something that like sits nicely and looks kind of cute, or if you're looking for something in a bag. But both of these powders, really, really like them. I like that they're both small businesses. This one's truly a very, very small business. Meliora is also certified B Corporation, Leaping Bunny certified, vegan, made safe. I've never heard of that one. 1% 1 for the planet and woman owned. So great business to support. I love Meliora. Meliora also has several other cleaning products. They've got stain remover. They've got natural bleach alternatives. They've got hand soap. They've got cleaning soap. They have so many cleaning products. So this is your one-stop shop for all sorts of cleaning. So overall, I, I think the powders are it for me. Though they are heavy, they're not breakable. They're natural. They smell nice. They're PVA free. They're small businesses. They're easy to recycle. So many pros to these powders. Then I, then I think this comes second. You know, they were a little bit sketchy about their ingredients. I don't like that these little beads are not recyclable. I don't like that this egg isn't recyclable, but you know, there are some big, big pros to the eco egg. And then of course, I really had nothing good to say about this other than that it smelled good and that it did clean my clothes. It's not eco-friendly. And this is an eco-friendly laundry review. There you have it. My thoughts on these four new eco-friendly laundry detergents. I believe this is part four. So go check out my past laundry review videos above and below for more eco-friendly laundry essentials, which I also have a video on that as well. Everything from how you should dry your clothes, how you should wash your clothes, stain remover, all that sort of stuff in this video. Overall, what has been my favorite laundry detergent of all time? Hard to say because there's so many categories. My favorite powder, I'm going to say Melior because I really like the smell of it. My favorite liquid is probably Dirty Labs. I think they are the most eco-friendly. They are a small business and they work really, really well. Dan really liked that one as well. My favorite laundry sheets are probably Kind Laundry. I don't personally love sheets all that much. If I were to live in a big city, again, I would probably use them because I would feel comfortable about the PVA actually breaking down. But up here where we have like a septic system in the middle of the boonies, I don't think that we're gonna have a, a way to, for the PVA to break down. So I prefer not to use them up here. If you want to learn my full thoughts on PVA, again, I believe the videos are already linked above and you can check them out down below as well. If you like brand reviews, good news. I have one planned. Actually, I think I have two planned per month this entire summer. I'm doing laundry detergent, bug spray, bug itch relief, lip balm, moisturizer. I think that's it. I've definitely got those five. So if you have any more sort of brand reviews that you want me to do, I'd like to do them in this style. Gather like four to six. The bug spray is like seven or eight different brands of the same product, review them head to head and then compare them. And of course, if there's more like with laundry detergent, I will do more videos in the future. So if you want me to review more laundry detergent, let me know. And if there's another sort of topic you want me to cover in brand reviews, let me know. But also for now, you can check out my full brand review playlist right here. That is all that I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time, especially if you made it all the way to the end. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, remember that your small actions make a big difference in the long run. Bye guys. Show me the ingredients. Hello, ow. <laughs> Just got a new piercing. No, you're okay. Yes. It is June 2nd, I'm drinking hot chocolate. I might be in a t-shirt, but it's still pretty chilly up here in Northern Minnesota. Dan really, really likes it. There's the sourdough.